everything you do should be intentional, know what the plan and the purpose is, then you must take action and it will produce something. And I like to call that part magic. Speak Easy Studios. Speak and be heard. Welcome to the studio at 1201 where we are bringing you interesting conversations with entrepreneurs, creatives, leaders, and world changers to impact and inspire. Let's connect. So make sure to subscribe, rate, and review with all the stars. And most importantly, remember, you belong here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Conversations With. My name is Jeanette Brown, and I am joined, as always, by my lovely co-host, Kelly Olive. Hey. And today we are here to have another conversation, so sit back, relax, subscribe. Get some coffee. Get some coffee, (laughs) and join us for a conversation with the lovely Christine from Intention Enterprises. What's up, girl? What's up? What's up? We discovered today that you actually have a last name. I do. It's not Christine with Intention and Nerve. Although I am happy to be branded that way. (laughs) (laughs) I am actually Christine Roberts Kelly. I know that now. That's a fun fact I did not know. And I I told you, I'm like, I know there's something after Christine, but it's not that. It's from Intention or with Intention Enterprises. You branded yourself well. Yes. Yes. Everything is a mouthful. The the, the company name, my own name. Yeah. The journey, which we're going to dive into as well, um, which we're excited. Can you give us just a little rundown of who you are? Let's see, who am I? Oh, Ooh, that's, that's, a, a, that's, a, that's a very that's deep a, question. That's a very deep question. <laughs> um, I spent 20 years in corporate America, and somehow I was, I like to call it being pushed out on my leap of faith. Ooh, <laughs> I, like I like that. You had some assistance <laughs> with that. some assistance with that. <laughs> and started Intention Enterprises. Nice. The name was in the works 15 years previous, yeah. so I had wow. that name. I knew I was going to do something. Um with intention. So everything yeah. I want to do is with intention. That's and wonderful. So there is born the name. And then it was just, okay, now what? What do I do? What's the thing? What 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 do I do, right? Yeah. So I do, um, I'm an accountant by trade. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a master's in business. I have a degree in finance. So trying to marry all three of those yeah. skill sets after 20 years. Yeah. And bring it really to... Entrepreneurs, right? Yeah. In the form of financial analysis, bookkeeping services, we offer accounting services, we help you form your entity, we help you write policy, process, procedure. I mean, all the things that I kind of learned. All the skills that I don't have. (laughs) It's amazing. (laughs) You are an asset. (laughs) No, not the boring (laughs) stuff, the important stuff that you got to know. Wow. Yeah, Yeah, I actually uh, uh, was asked by somebody one time if you could give one piece of advice to someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, like just one thing, what would you say? And I said, by far get your infrastructure in place. Yes. And you're an infrastructure person. I am. Foundation is pivotal. Mm. Right? If you have a shaky foundation, you have a crack in your foundation, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. how do you build a strong organization, a strong business, or a strong house for that matter, right? Yeah, that mm-hmm. is so true. You have yeah. to have the basis in order, and that starts with, how was your company formed? Yeah. How did you even form it? Did you just Google it and formed it, and you don't have articles of incorporation of, or um, any of those LLC documents or Incorp documents? You, yeah. you leave yourself open. Yeah, that is so for true. For liability, and worse yet, you can't even get funding because you haven't been formed well. Right. There's so many layers yes. deep it goes. Yeah. yeah, it really does. And it's been sad to see so many businesses over the last few years d- not succeed. And so we want to set we want to see some successful companies. Yes. yes. And so what year did you make the leap to um, entrepreneurship? Start your of own faith. business. <laughs> 2022. Okay. Mm, yeah. So it was after COVID. It was after COVID. Okay. The company had been, the company was formed. I had a couple of clients, side hustle going on. Okay. I'm working this corporate job. I'm making six figures, but I still have this side hustle, right? I have, yeah. kids, in col- <laughs> I have kids in college. I, I don't know. What am I doing? Living my best life with the extra money. I don't know. And then they just, be- they just came a point where it was like, okay. You know, either you're going to do it or you're not going to do it. Mm. And are you ever going to be ready enough? It's like having a kid. Oh. Can you ever be prepared enough? No. No. You're never prepared <laughs> enough. So, okay. Yeah. Sometimes you just jump. You do. You jump. You jump. But I'm an, I'm a 
analytical person. So in the background, you know, there's all this other stuff that went on. Before mm -hmm. you... You're planning the calculation of the jump. The it's, a <laughs> jump. It's, a, it is a calculated yeah. jump. It should be a calculated risk. Now, there's some people who are able to do it, and it doesn't have to be a calculated risk. But I'm. It does. My mind doesn't work that way. Yes. It has to be a calculated risk. Yeah. So. It's it's important to go with. Um, it's important to make a calculated risk. I think so. Yeah. If you if you have a family, you have a lifestyle you want to preserve, your sanity you'd like to maintain, <laughs> um, eat, you know, things like that. Make it a little yeah. bit more calculated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tend to agree. Yeah. So on the other side of the leap, how is it going? It's going good. Good. It, it, it's going so much better now. So I'm a little over a year yeah. into the process, working it full time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the mind has changed. Mm. Right? That's, that's great. The thing. It's yeah. the, the mindset yes. has changed. And now I understand... Um, what my objectives are, mm. really understand what they are. I've even pivoted a little bit, yeah. right? So you get this, you use this time, you you grow, you change, you realize, you do the analytics, mm -hmm. you see what works, you yeah. see what doesn't work. And, and you know what, that's something that, that goes on for a long time. But I love how you said that um, your mind has switched because that it is a switch. Yes. Moving into people, I think there's a, a false understanding of entrepreneurs in a in some people's mind that it's like oh I'm going to be my own boss I'm going to do my own thing make my own hours I get to and keep all be... the money yes <laughs> and, and it's just not that and and you you were this in the same mindset for 20 years and you chose to make that leap of faith but you still had to to switch your mind yes. and and I, I think it's great that you um were able to do that are there any any things that helped you to get there? Um, I'm a faith person, so we'll oh. put that out there. Okay, um, that helps. <laughs> yeah, it, it really does. Yes. It really does. It helps keep me grounded and know that, okay, there's there, there's some pain in the process, mm. but you're going to get to the other side of that. Yeah. Um, so that was a major yeah. factor for me. And just really the analytics. Like, I know what, what services work, mm -hmm. what services are not going to work, um, who is my client? Because mm. I didn't even, I wasn't even sure who my client was when I did this. Because yeah. I'm like, everybody needs bookkeeping. Why do people not want bookkeeping? <laughs> they all need it. Everybody needs it. And then you realize, eh, maybe that's not my client. <laughs> maybe this is my client. And you start to refine that process mm. as yeah. you go through it. Because yeah. you're no longer grabbing at everything everyone's throwing at you. Oh, yeah. So good, yeah. Maybe everyone is your client. They just don't know it yet. <laughs> <laughs> they just got to wake up. <laughs> Because you're right, so everybody you does need bookkeeping, but... <laughs> right, right. You may not, you know, and personality, you know, it's like everything else. Right? Is there a personality fit? Yeah. fit? Is there a business fit? Um, do I want to be in certain sectors? Do I not want to be in certain yeah. sectors? So you start to refine that process as you're out and you realize, okay, I only have, I still only have these eight hours in the day for the most part. Yeah. Although you're working 24, for the most, <laughs> you know, all the time. That's what an entrepreneur yeah. does often. Right. But you have to, intentional about your time, yeah. right? You have to be intentional, intentional about, your, about time. your time. What are some of the, the top perks or best things about now running your own business? And what are some of like the worst things? <laughs> The highs and the lows. Uh, the highs and the lows. We will start. Okay. The high is I get to decide who I work with. Yes. That is the ultimate high. Yeah. yeah. I get to say no and unapologetically so. Mm. Um, and the lows, I will tell you, ladies, I was making six figures and I make like six dollars. And that <laughs> is the hardest part. That is the hardest part yeah. of being an entrepreneur. That up and down and knowing that you've put in 60 hours this week. And there is no paycheck mm. possibly at the end of that. So why would someone want to give up six figures to to do that? For me, it was more about trying to figure out who I was first mm. and then knowing that I had something else to offer. More than just sitting behind the desk. I spent a lot of time behind the desk in the boardroom. Mm. And I enjoyed that. And compensated well for it, but there was no fulfillment. Yeah. At the there end you of go. It. Yeah. 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 Money there, isn't everything, is it? Uh, <laughs> I can't even believe I would ever say that. Anyone who <laughs> me would never believe that. Would never believe it because I picked my career based on what I thought I could make. Yeah. 
And now I've decided, oh, okay, it's fine. Yeah. There's growth in that. There is. Yeah. There, there is growth in that. There's realization in um, prioritizing mm. the things that, what is important to yeah. me? What is important to me? And finding other ways to self-soothe. Yeah, yeah. No, I was yeah. gonna say no retail therapy. <laughs> no or more, not too much retail <laughs> therapy. <laughs> oh, no, but it's good. It's good. Uh, what What does the self care, self soothe, the self soothe? That's a hard thing to say. <laughs> self self soothe. Uh, what does that look like in your life when you're not working all the hours for no <laughs> paycheck, but doing what you're really loving to do? Um, so. My passion. Okay. Tell us. My passion is to refinish furniture. Like I Ooh. find such joy and peace in taking something that no one wanted mm. and That's making so it cool. some, and coveting it, right? Oh. And and yeah. making it shine. Yeah. Making wow. it shine. You know, I love that. But I, I enjoy yoga. Mm-hmm. If I can get to yeah. yoga, I my husband says I'm this weird mix of. Okay, Christine, he calls it woo woo. <laughs> He's like, you're so woo woo, and then you want to be analytical. I said, we need to tie those two yes, things yeah. together. The left and the right brain. Yes. They mm-hmm. don't have to be mutually exclusive. And that's what I feel. I need to be centered in my analysis. Yeah. <laughs> Even the yoga instructor needs a bookkeeper. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. Exactly. That's great. But but when you had said that earlier um, in the conversation about your, uh, uh, um, your person of faith, and then you said, and I'm analytical, and you use those two things as part of the way you made the, the leap. Mm-hmm. And like a lot of people would say, well, you'd have to be one or the other, but they're not mutually exclusive. Yeah. I, I think that's a good point. Yeah, I don't think I, they, for me, they, they can't be. Mm. There can't be. There is... There's there's wisdom in the spiritual, so and there's a process in the spiritual, so it it falls into from in the same in the same yeah. bucket. They're yeah, not mutually exclusive. So true. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So you are uh, a part of our CG Business Connections community, <laughs> which is really exciting. Yes. Uh, have you found a lot of fruit in the networking aspect with us, with other places as well? Before we go there, real quick, for those who are listening who don't know what that is. So um, we are part of CG Community Development. It's a nonprofit in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Mm -hmm. And we engage our community through the arts, all things arts, education, performances, events, all things of that nature. But we also engage through social entrepreneurship. And one of the big ways we do that is through a weekly, um, we don't really like to call it a networking group. It's CG Business Connections because that's really what we do mm-hmm. is we connect yes. to each other. Intentionally. We, yes. Intentionally. It's true. And, um, and Christine has been a part of it for since you began. Yes. And wow. so now that we're caught up, got everybody caught up. <laughs> yeah. It's the best thing. You should come. If it you're available great. on a Tuesday morning, just show up because the community is phenomenal. You know, I have to say, I love that you guys call your program is social entrepreneurship, right? Because that's what this networking, quote, unquote, thing is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because there's, I was never a networker. Mm -hmm. Didn't have to. Yeah. Paid someone to do that. Like that. (laughs) So you come out as an entrepreneur and you have to figure out how do you present yourself. Yeah. And you come to a community like CG Center and they help you through that mm, process. Yeah. They, they make you feel comfortable. They make you feel okay when some mornings you need coffee and they're like, it's <laughs> going to be okay. We got you, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or you have people who come and pull you aside and say, oh, you should probably do this a little. Yeah. Or do this a little. And I've, I've had that experience where I've had people kind of pull me aside and give me some pointers. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. And just reassure me that you're, it's going to be okay. Yeah. You know, we're all here to support you and that's what, Awesome. That's what the community says. You know, our underlying yeah. um, mission for that is to help businesses grow and give back. And our director of social entrepreneurship here, Vince Prescott, he he likes to say, because when businesses thrive, communities thrive. Mm-hmm. And it's so true. It's not just catchphrases and it's not just, you know, interesting words. But it's really true. It is true. It is so. true. And as I, I think one of the things I have in one of the bios that I've written is that, you know, I believe we're all called to abundance. Mm. And part of abundance is 
making profits so that you can give back yeah. to your community. Yeah. You know, because yeah. if I don't have it, I can't give it back to you. Yeah. A business class I took they uh, uh, with Howard Partridge, for those of you who are familiar or not, look him up. Um, but he, he teaches, you know, if you do something and you don't make any money after a certain time, it's a hobby. It's not, right. a, career. It's not a career. So when you start, it, it's a career. But if, event, if at some point you're just never making money yeah. after so long, it's a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't realize how recently Intention Enterprises had really started. 2022, you said. Yeah. So this is this is still new and, and exciting and terrifying, probably yeah. all at the same time. Because yeah. as of today, it's only June 2023. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. What, so what is um, the future goals, next steps? What does that look like as you continue to, to develop it? Next steps. Um, I really want to get back to the part of my life where I am sharing knowledge. Mm. That's about what I'm doing. I do put, you know, we offer bookkeeping services and I love the numbers. I like the solitude of it yeah. all. But I want to be able to share what I know. Yeah. Some of the things, some of the nuggets that I've picked up over the years and share that with other entrepreneurs, with other biz, small biz, businesses mm. and so that they see what these multi-million dollar organizations have been doing, how yeah. they protect themselves wow. through the process so good. as well. So hopefully some teaching, training, cool. um, speaking, that's kind of where I would like to evolve. Yeah. Into. She actually has begun speaking to at some different places. And so right. your, your speaking career <laughs> has begun. <laughs> nice. It's begun to take Congrats. off. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Thank that's you. That's exciting. That's a big deal. Yeah. It is. For someone who's terrified of public speaking, but again, these are the things you learn as an entrepreneur, right? Yeah. To push your comfort zone. And it's so much easier to talk about something you're passionate about. <sighs> yes. When it when it's something you love and that's in you. And you know it. You, yes. Yeah, you know it. You, you, know you, know it. It. you know it in your sleep. I'm like, oh, I know this stuff. Yeah. yeah. And what you know is such a niche area that not a lot of people know. And so, I, man, I hope that we get to see you doing all sorts of workshops and talks and speaking engagements, sharing the knowledge. Because that's it's something that everybody needs and they just don't realize or don't have the time for themselves to invest in all the background getting there. Right. And some people are wondering, should I take a leap of faith? What are my questions? What are the things I need to look for? Um, and consider mm. moving from my job, my J-O-B, to, you know, entrepreneurship and that sort of thing. And you have been on both sides of that. And you do have a wealth of knowledge to offer. Mm -hmm. When do you think, let's say someone is listening and they're feeling a little antsy or just unsettled in the career path they've chosen, what, what is the kind of guidance you would give them? Or when do they know to take the leap of faith? When do you know? I don't think you ever know. Mm. And I'll and I'll be very honest about that. I never thought I'd be an entrepreneur. Mm. Never. Why would I? <laughs> you know, but something I've been called to something else. Yeah. Right. And I just had to take that and run with it. Mm -hmm. From an analytical standpoint, because I I, I did the numbers before I left mm -hmm. um, and decided I was not going back. I knew I needed X amount of dollars to yeah. survive for one year. Mm-hmm. Just one year. Yeah. And then what I didn't plan for was the fact, oh, I can support myself and I can't support the business. Oh, so you needed to add a little money to that, <laughs> you know. So knowing <laughs> knowing what your numbers are, knowing what you need to survive for yourself yeah. and your business, even if it's just for the six months, mm. right? But what are statistics? It takes upwards of three years to get some traction. Yeah. yeah. And the average business will fail within the first five years. Yeah. Um, so knowing what your numbers are, first thing. Second thing is change your mindset. Mm. Understand that this, the freedom that entrepreneurship promises on Instagram is not, that comes down the road. <laughs> yes, it yes. Comes down After the, road the three point, years and then Maybe some. three years, yeah. five years, ten years, whatever it is, depending on what your product mm -hmm. or your service is. Understand that it's not a, out the gate and your customers will be there for you. You have to go and get your clients. <laughs> They will not show up because you <laughs> built it. <laughs> they won't. You mean they won't be like, oh, man, I heard this Christine with Intention Enterprises is the best bookkeeper. I'm going to go find her. Right. No, no one's doing that. You have to <laughs> you have to put yourself out there. And yeah. then it, it involves changing your mindset and, mm. and pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Yes. Mm. And so um, important. Yeah. And hopefully if you have a good support system, 
Develop the support system. Yeah. Because on those down days, you need someone that's going to say, you got this. Mm. Even if that's just all they say. Yeah. If it's just emotional support. Mm. And that extra. What does word. support look like for you as an entrepreneur where others in our community, whether it's from CG Business Connections or people listening, what does that look like when it comes to support for your company? Um, I've been lucky. Like I've, I've had two events and I've had people from CG come to my events awesome. to see me speak. So that speaks to yeah. the support and sometimes you just need someone to show up. You're you're giving yeah. a talking. Someone please show please. up. <laughs> please, I do events, so I know that feeling. Yeah. Oh, please the nerves beforehand. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yep. And it's nice to see a friendly face mm -hmm. in the crowd when you haven't done it. Yeah, when you haven't done yeah. it before. Oh, that's which is funny you say that because that's my answer. I would say that's our answer for the nonprofit. Yeah. Is wait, if you're listening right now, the best support is just to show up to a thing, yeah. <laughs> show up to an event, to a meeting, to a workshop, uh, because we can't do it by ourselves. Right. You know, we'd just be talking. We'd be having a conversation <laughs> with each other, and, <laughs> and just no would not else. be as exciting, <laughs> yeah. as, as engaging as you are. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Wow. And, it, um, you know, I know we're not closing out quite yet, but, you know, if you want to check out our nonprofit, uh, we have a website, cglakeworth.org, mm -hmm. and we always have events going on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good things. I'd love to have you show up. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there any other things in life that you um, love to highlight here with us? Um, I have a heart for nonprofits. Mm. I, I think that's probably where I'll end up at some point. You know? <laughs> I do a lot of a lot of volunteer work. Fantastic! Uh, so I'm on. There is a program, um, E2C. It's an entrepreneur program that mm -hmm. is located out in West Palm Beach, and it will. I am on their board for Very that. Nice. I'm a board chair, cool. and it will help entrepreneurs. It yeah. will help you show you how to set up your company, nice. how, how to set up your finances, so that you can get a loan in the event that you need to offer you some mentorship. Mm. You know, so I'm, I'm privileged to be a part of E2C. And I'm privileged to be a part of Suits for Seniors, who gives suits to um, graduating seniors. Oh, nice. that's wonderful. So I am their CFO, and I'm so blessed to be a part of that organization. And I, I just think if you have the, the time, you have the knowledge, yeah. and you have the ability to be able to work with nonprofit organizations, it goes a long way. Yeah, it yeah. really does. Yeah, it You're someone soul. who you go all in. I am. If yes. I tell you I'm doing something, I am I doing it. I love that about you. I am doing it. And I, I don't care what I have to move. <laughs> You're to very make it intentional. Happen. I yes. am. I am. Be because I am an introvert, the relationships I built mm -hmm. are intentional. Yeah. Because they're hard fought. Yeah. You know? I'm an introvert too. No one believes me, but I am. I am an introvert. I think I used to be, and I'm not. Or maybe I just was a misunderstood extrovert. I don't know. Because uh, situational, I, situational. I know. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I think it is takeaway time. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're going to have you do um, is look in the camera and um, any takeaways. You want to explain? You're, you're better at it. Um, yeah. Just if you have a couple pieces of pieces of advice that people could take as takeaways. It may be it's someone who's considering leaving corporate to go to entrepreneurship. Maybe it's something of uh, being a female um, in, in um, entrepreneurship. Maybe it's something about just being intention, uh, intentional in your life. Um, something that they can walk away from this podcast and be like, I don't think I'll forget that, yeah. but got to look in the camera. Yeah, so audience, this is directly for you. Yes. So I have this thing I like to say, intention plus action equals magic. Oh, right? So everything you do should be intentional. Know what the plan and the purpose is. Then you must take action and it will produce something. And I like to call that part magic. Yeah. That's the analytics wow. right there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Magical that's beautiful. analytics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so, so true. There's, we could go so deep into that, but yes, if they can take that away, 
amazing. Fantastic. I yes. want that written somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> I really do. Yeah. So good. Oh my goodness. You are a joy. Thank oh, you so much you. for joining yes. us. I really I appreciate you guys taking the time to Absolutely. speak with me. And it's also if I can speak for both of us, it's it's an honor to be along the journey with you. Yes. Uh to see you every Tuesday and to see you pour into others but also are so receptive to everything that this this group has for you. Um, I can't wait to see where it goes next. And now knowing a little bit more about the dreams for the future, however we can help you get there. Yes. Like, right. let's yes. make it happen. Yes. <laughs> Do you have anything else to add, Kel? Um, I was just thinking about, you know, talking a little bit more about the group. Um, and I know we teased earlier about, you know, if you're in the area, come, just drop by, you'll love it. But it really is a group that helps you to grow. Yeah. And um, and so if and even if you don't live in South Florida, if you don't live anywhere nearby, find if you're an entrepreneur or a business professional, business owner, find a group that you can get yes. a, to be a find part your of. Tribe. Yes. Yeah, find your tribe and show up mm -hmm. every week yeah. because if you show up once and then they don't see you for three weeks and then you show up again, uh, it it doesn't have the same impact. But it and it may not seem like um it's doing anything yeah but if you do it over and over and over if again if you do it, it will, with intention yes then all the you're gonna see fruit from Absolutely. it for yes. sure yeah Consist that would be it consistency is so key oh, yes it is yeah across the board yeah 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 so how can people connect with you, find you, uh, hire you to help? How, how do they connect? <laughs> I'm right here in the <laughs> You can check out my website. It's uh, intentionenterprises.com. I am on Instagram, intention underscore enterprises. And I am on Facebook, Intention LLC. Mm -hmm. So if you're that yoga instructor, you need a bookkeeper. <laughs> All right. If you're listening you and you don't have one. You got to get one. And I heard a rumor that Christine is the best bookkeeper around. So I heard that rumor, too. Mm, you need to chase after her. All right. She may not come to you, so you need to go to her. I love you guys. I love this you This was a you phenomenal too. conversation. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed listening. And if you did... What are you doing? Press the subscribe button. You got to subscribe to listen to more. We have conversations all the time and we got another one coming your way soon. Uh, so please go back, listen to some of our past episodes, subscribe to the studio at 1201. And thank you for taking the time and listening. My name is Jeanette Brown. I've been joined by, as always, my co-host Kelly Olive and Christine. You are amazing. Thank yes. you. Intention Enterprises is the name to know. Thank you so much. And we will see y'all next time. Thanks for listening. Remember to rate, review, subscribe, and join us for the next episode.